to produce a exe.msi, we need to have mode JX for JavaFX and then Wix uh, toolset. You can go to um, Gulun's website. It comes with the JavaFX SDK Windows X64. So here is the JMODs. That's the um, native libraries and then packages of uh, JavaFX. You need uh, JMODs to, to produce uh, EXE or MSI uh, file out of the JavaFX uh, application. So installation is straightforward. You can unzip to your C drive. In my case, I'm going to keep it together with the program files Java. This is where I keep Java FX SDK. So I'm going to keep the same uh, JMODs for Java FX 17.0.1. So here you go. We need a uh, Wix toolset to produce native package in uh, EXE or MSI from a self contained Java application or Java FX application using a J package of a JDK. So let's um, download. Installation is uh, straightforward. If you go down here, I'm going to download Wix 311.exe. Run it. Installation might be a bit slow. Um, basically, just copy everything to C drive, uh, program files. Complete. Exit. You need to um, copy parts of uh, install directory. It's on the C drive, program files, X. 86. Folder name is Wix toolset 311 binary. This is the path you need to copy so that you can set it as a system variable. Properties, advanced system settings, environment variables on the advanced tab. We are looking at pass, edit. You can create a new and then paste it. Okay. Okay, let's continue with the previous example. So we have a Java FX Hello World Java file here. Let's open it in the terminal. Then we are going to use J package to produce self-contained Java applications. They may include all necessary dependencies. So Java package. We can use the type uh, .exe and the input that reports to current directory. Then uh, destination uh, where we like to uh, save our application.exe current directory and the main jar on the current directory, we are looking at JavaFX hello world .jar.
the main class happen to be uh, JavaFX Hello World dot app on the package. So you you have to type the name of the package. Come dot example dot JavaFX Hello World. And then name of the class is app. Then we are going to use module pass. This time we are going to use um, Java Pack J mode. That should be on the C drive. Okay, this is the one. Copy. Paste it. Then add modules. I'm going to use uh, two of them, Java FX controls and then Java FX FXML. We can have a Windows shortcut on desktop. Also, we can add our application to Windows menu, Win menu. That's it. Enter. It will take uh, for a while because we need to copy all those necessary files. So let me um, wait and see. Okay, once it's done, that prompt will change back to those prompt. Okay, here you go. You can click the uh, directory. Then it will show you uh, apps. Okay, app dash 1.0. File default, uh, that's what we have. Open in Windows Explorer. Okay, on the same directory. Now we can double click to install. It will take a for a while. Uh, it's going to uh, copy everything to C drive, program files, and then we create the one directly called app. Then uh, copy everything inside include DLL and then a library of uh, Java FX and then Java library so you put it in the package as well so please wait okay seems like it's done let's go back here you go app Okay, let's launch the apps. Welcome to SubFX application. Okay, seems like working. Let's look at uh, program files. App. Here is the dot exe. Runtime. This is what we included in project. And then app. Here is the uh, Java. Let's go back to um, settings, apps, apps and features. We should be able to uh, all install. So here you go, app 1.0, all install, all install, done. Next step, uh, let's see whether we can create 
MSI file. Okay. I use the arrow key move up. So that it will bring it up the previous command line. Now we can change to MSI. To make some change, I will use another option. App version will be uh, 2.0. Okay, so app-2.0.msi will appear. Okay, again, I uh, will take us for a while. Okay, let me just click. Now we have a app2.0.msi. Okay, this is how you can create the exe and msf installer on Windows. That's all. Thank you.